Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to talk about two of these RTX 2080s that I graciously received from good old nerdgears.com. And with these cards, I am planning to do something pretty fun and hopefully pretty cool as I want to build two identical mining rigs. And uh, with that, I want to do some comparisons or profitability tests against mining softwares such as Claymore Miner or, you know, Phoenix Miner or maybe like NiceHash versus Kudo Miner. And, you know, I want to do that because I feel like it's something fun that I've been thinking about doing. I, I, I've been wanting to do that and I would love to know from the community if you think that's a good idea. And uh, yeah, I want to test various software. I want to do head-on testing versus different softwares and uh, see which is more profitable per se. And I know, I know, there's going to be a lot of different variables and, uh, you know, maybe like latency to the server that you're mining on and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to try to drown out those variables as much as I can and uh, try, try to get it as close as possible. But mainly those profitability softwares, you know, such as like NiceHash, Kudo Miner, or uh, some other ones out there, a lot of people always like to compare those and, uh, you know, see which one's better. And that's just something I've, I've been actually kind of interested in and hoping to get some more information on and, and really see which one is actually more profitable. Now, I am not the only crypto mining YouTuber to do this. There's Not Your Normal Miner and also Crypto Fish. He's actually a big proponent on doing a lot of testing with various profitability miners such as NiceHash, Kudo Miner, Better Hash, and some other ones. So actually, go check out Crypto Fish. He's actually a really nice guy, really cool, informative dude. I'll link in the description below for Crypto Fish and Not Your Normal Miner as well. So thank you guys. But I want to build two identical rigs, and I'm going to put these RTX 2080 Ti's in those identical rigs. But what I need help from the community here is to figure out which hardware do I need to make these identical. Like I want to have identical CPUs, identical motherboards, RAM, and uh, power supplies, which I already have actually. I have a bunch of 850 watt thermal take gold rated power supplies. So that should be no problem. So I'll take you guys into my computer and I'll show you which type of systems I'm thinking of doing in order to have identical rigs to do the software mining comparisons and stuff. Okay, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, my friends, before we begin, this video is actually sponsored by good old nerdgears.com. They've sponsored me before and I've talked about them a lot. You guys all know nerdgears.com. Free shipping to all US customers and they sell everything from power supplies, crypto mining hardware such as different cables, fans, motherboards, PCIe adapters, PCIe risers, all that stuff, even ASIC miners. You guys need to buy some ASIC miners. They do have some here. And of course, can't forget they have graphic cards. And you guys can see here, they sell the infamous MSI RTX 2080 Ventus cards. And these are the cards that I have. I just showed you guys really great cards. Thank you to Nerd Gears for sponsoring this video. So let's begin, my friends. So I have five different system builds here. So basically I need to have two systems that are identical in order to do profitability tests or uh, software comparison tests, okay? As you guys can see here from my title, system builds for identical mining rigs or slash PCs for mining software comparison or profitability tests like NiceHash versus Kudo Miner. And uh, yeah, I have two RTX 2080s and I'm going to use these two cards into two different systems. Okay, so let's, let's, go, first, let, let's go through the first system here that uh, I've been thinking of building. Okay, so it's called new system build, two dollar signs and then times two because I need two of these builds. Okay, so first off we have the GPU that's needed, which I already have. And then I need the CPU, which I'm thinking of going for a Ryzen 5 3600X or maybe the non-X edition, 6-core Ryzen processor. And right now, that's about $214 USD. And then next, I have the motherboard, an ASRock Mini ITX for 120. RAM, uh, 16 gigs of RGB 3200 MHz C16 memory for about $91, $92. And then I have the Thermaltake A50 watt power supply already on hand, and as well a 
case, okay? I'm thinking of the Thermaltake Core P1 ITX glass case, okay? So let me show you all these parts right now, okay? So for this first build, I'm thinking of a 3600X, and I'd love to get your guys' opinion on this uh, down below on what kind of build I think I need, okay, after this. And then I'm thinking of an ITX motherboard, okay, for this guy here, you guys, B450 ITX from Azeroc. And then I have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 from Corsair, and specifically this model right here. I'm not too I'm not too knowledgeable on you know which RAM sets I need, and of course the reason why I I, I do need uh, a good good set of RAM is because I want to do some overclocking and uh, mine a CPU mineable coin like Monero for instance. Okay, so if you if you guys have any any insight or any information for different RAM that I could use for the Ryzen 3600, let me know down below. Okay. And then I have these power supplies already. I have a whole bunch of these just sitting doing nothing. So I don't need to buy 850 watt power supplies. I can just use these, okay? So uh, yeah, it's the Thermaltake Tough Power Grand RGB 850 watt, uh, 80 plus gold rated power supply. So I have two of those already. And the computer case that I'm thinking of using is this guy right here. Looks pretty cool, look at this. It's like an open air style and the only thing uh, you know, in, in front of it is like a tempered glass side panel, basically. And looks like there's air coming out from all different sides. Airflow can come through the bottom, the sides, and top. So that should be ample enough co cooling for an RTX 2080. And it, an RTX 2080 is already pretty cool already, okay, in terms of temperatures. But man, look at this. Sh should I just make them make him all water-cooled and all that kind of stuff? Look at this. This looks really cool. Uh, look at that. That's really cool. Okay, so let me know what you guys think about this case. Pretty awesome. Now, I had another idea of not using this case, but using like a test bench or a tech bench or something. Something along the lines of this, you know, this is ITX motherboard capable and I can put the RTX 2080, you know, right on the motherboard. Like so, you guys can see here, hard drive, power supply, just in a small, really small form factor. Or, I was looking at uh, AliExpress, <laughs> and they have a whole bunch of different test benches here as well. I'm actually eyeing, I was eyeing this test bench right here. I don't know if some of you guys have seen this. It's on AliExpress here, but it's it seems pretty cool. You put the power supply at the bottom and the ITX motherboard at the top, and then you can see here these two thumb screws here hold the, uh, the video card bracket, okay? So, seems pretty cool. And uh, it's kind of expensive, in my opinion, $88, uh, $89 on AliExpress. But, I, you know, another 40 bucks more, I get this really cool Thermaltake case. So let me know what you guys think if I should buy, like, these test benches or, uh, or Thermaltake Core P1. Okay, so I showed you those parts. So let's go to system build number two that I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot to mention, so the total price in order for one of these builds is about four, is about $546.25 times two, okay? So this is gonna be over a thousand dollars, 1100 bucks for sure. I need to buy for two of these Ryzen 5 systems. Now, the next build I'm thinking, okay, is pretty much almost the same except for the, the CPU and motherboard. You guys can see here I have a Ryzen 9 3900X, 12 core processor, and an ROG Strix X570 motherboard. And noticeably, a lot costs a lot more. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to go for this build as much as I want to. 3900X is obviously a monster and a lot of people can get nice hash rates out of those CPUs. But I don't think I'm going to invest $941 per rig, which I need two. So times two, it's probably, it's probably going to be well over $2,000 when it's all done uh, in order to buy this rig. And I need probably a good set of RAM as well uh, if I'm going to buy an R9 a Ryzen 9 3900X as well, so. Okay, so that's build number two. This is, this is the most expensive one. Okay, build number three that I'm thinking of is uh, a little bit cheaper, uh, but not not by much, maybe a hundred bucks cheaper than the first build here, uh, number one build. So this number three build, it's basically the same ASRock board and all the other parts are the same, except for the, except for the processor. You can see here, it's the Ryzen 3 3200G four core processor. And this processor is pretty cheap. It's about $91.95 right now on Amazon. So um, 
yeah, I'm thinking of maybe getting this build. Let me know what you guys think, okay? $423 for all the parts that, that I would need to build this rig. And let me know down in the comments, guys, if you guys think I should change to a different motherboard or an MATX board or ATX board. I would love to know your opinions. I just want to go ITX because I do want to make these builds also into, like, gaming rigs in the future. Okay, so I, I, I also want to make it... Uh, also cool as well so you know I, I would like to use these in the future and uh, not not be too bulky I want them to be smaller okay alright so the fourth system that I've been thinking of is a pre-built system I, I put here a Dell Optiplex 990 i7 and it's about three hundred eight dollars and fifty eight seven cents right now uh, let's see I think I have a link here let's go to this Ah, here we go okay so this is a Amazon renewed Dell Optiplex 990 desktop computer i7, 16 gigs of DDR3 memory, and a 512 gigabyte SSD Wi-Fi Windows 10 Pro for $308. This seems like a steal. Obviously, the processor is probably from like second or first gen or maybe even third gen i7. I don't know. They don't say which i7 it is. But yeah, I would need to probably take out everything... Uh, this looks like a low profile. Are these low profile PCIe brackets in the back of this uh, Dell? It looks like low profile. I'm not sure. Let me. Maybe it's full size. But I would have to change the power supply. Maybe take out everything. Put it into an open frame anyway. I wouldn't be able to use this Dell case. Uh, but I could utilize the insides, which uh, seems to be pretty cool. But you know, for the price of this pre-built machine, 308, I would have to buy two of them. So it'd be about uh, 650 or whatever. All said and done, six six twenty when it's all said and done. When I could probably you know spend another hundred and twenty bucks more uh, on each system and get a Ryzen system, or spend another hundred dollars more, hundred and twenty dollars more and get the Ryzen five thirty six hundred X systems. Ah uh, yeah, uh, a lot of things here. Okay, now finally, just to end off the video, I could also the the last build I could go with is just whatever I have on hand, and I actually do have two gigabyte Z270P-D3 motherboards with the G3930 processors and eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory. I could already utilize these if I want. I already have everything on hand, all the parts are ready. I can just put them on my custom made golden aluminum frames, which I have a bunch of them now. And uh, yeah, I could just do that and have the single 2080 sitting on them and uh, mining on these gigabyte Z270P-D3s. Now, you know, initially I do want to have a good CPU because I do want a CPU mine on these builds as well. Okay, I want to do the profitability for those as well. Okay, but um, maybe I don't need to. I can just do the profitability on two RTX 2080s and I don't need to worry about the CPU profits along with 2080s. If I do nice hash or kudo miner, I'm going to be using the CPU as well for mining if I were to go with a Ryzen 5 system. Okay, all right, my friends, so that's it. Nothing too crazy, I think, except for the second build as R9 3900Xs. I don't think I'm going to go for that. It's way too expensive, and I don't want to shill that much money out for these kind of systems. But let me know what you guys think, and I would love your opinions. And if you guys have any different parts or different RAM configurations or mother motherboard configurations, let me know down below. I would love to know. I appreciate you all for watching, and thank you again to Nerd Gears for sponsoring this video. These guys are awesome. They sponsor me and have provided me with tons of free hardware. I just cannot believe it. These guys are seriously awesome, and I know you guys love Nerd Gears and have had amazing experience with them. I sure have. So thanks a lot, my friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.